Latest Fox News polling shows an avalanche of bad news hitting President Biden as the 2024 election approaches. In a potential rematch, former President Trump holds a two-point advantage over Biden, while Nikki Haley fares better, beating the current president in a hypothetical matchup, 50 to 42. And joining us to break it all down is our political panel, Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce and Charlie Hurt. We just had this discussion, Charlie. Pete pointed out, and we can put this on the screen, though, when other and candidates are included, the news is worse for Haley and better for Trump, meaning if RFK is factored in. And that's a fascinating reality that Trump Trump voters would rather go to RFK, at least a significant percentage of them, than to Nikki Haley. It's a different calculus. So the question then goes, what would the race look like come yeah. November? Yeah, and and it's uh, that's not an unlikely scenario. We're I, I think it's probably uh, almost a guarantee that we're going to have uh, third party candidates in the race. Um, and you know, it, and it goes to the point, and I think that that is probably the most important thing out of the, this polling. It goes to show just how loyal Trump supporters are. They're not going anywhere. The flip side of that is that it also uh, is a reminder that Trump, uh, in that loyalty, he also has a unique ability to really tick off certain other voters, which is uh, a problem he's going to have to deal with. But uh, in a weird way, it, it's a reminder that, that Trump is also dealing with somewhat of a floor here because, uh, and, and a lot of people in politics forget this, there are a lot of people who will vote for Donald Trump on the issues, even if they don't like him. And that's where he uh, is going to have to, that's where he's going to have to work and build his coalition. Tammy, this is new. Uh, we haven't shown this one yet. So this is the top issue. This is the new Fox News poll. Top issue uh, for people deciding their vote for president. A lot, lot of talk about illegal immigration and, and the border, and that is a horrible issue for Joe Biden. The economy remains number one. Yes, and, and he fails on really all those uh, issues. When people are finally beginning to look up, it's March, it's an election year, and we've been told now for two years, oh, it's getting better. Everything's fine. Everything's going to get better. Every next month, it's, it's going to be better and better and better. Americans are realizing that's not true. So they're being gaslit. They also don't like that. So now they have to start making calculations about the condition of the world. Is my loved one in the military? Why is there wars, you know, breaking out? Why can I still not afford the right protein for my child? Why are children's medicines still an issue? Why, pro, you know, baby food issues? The, the, you know, the, the nature of how we're getting what we're getting, gasoline still outrageous. So as we begin to look up beyond the daily lives of uh, hunting and gathering, they're yeah. understanding what the options are. And I think that for Biden as the president in this poll can't break 50% which is remarkable for an incumbent. He's there all the time. He's got the federal government behind him. Right. And Americans have decided. With Trump, they also saw what he did. And it comes down to who's going to make this better for us. Because we're not voting for a husband or a boyfriend or even a best friend. We're voting for a leader who's going to shift this dynamic. So let's talk about, I want to put this to both of you then, what you expect to happen. I'm going to ask you this in two ways. We'll put this one up. This is Joe Biden's success and failure metric based upon various issues. And the, the viewer can see how bad it is when it comes to the issues. I'm fascinated by the second to bottom line, unifying the country. <laughs> failure, 69% on unifying the country. So my question for you both is, what issue would the Biden administration, Biden campaign, move to to try to win? We've talked about abortion. There now seem to be rallying around this save democracy, Republicans represent Russia narrative. It's like, can they find the message or do they replace Joe Biden? I think I, I think they ultimately go back to abortion because uh, I don't think these other issues work. But in a very weird way, I think that Democrats and the White House, they're very happy to talk about Joe Biden's age. Because honestly, as bad as that is, they would rather talk about his age than crime, illegal immigration, uh, the wars overseas, and the economy. Those are, ki all, all four of those are dead killers for him. Let, they would rather talk about it. Let age. me tell you, there's a, a Bloomberg Morning Consult poll just from a week ago as well that showed in the swing states, eight out of 10 voters polled said he's too old in the swing states. So that becomes a key. I, I would say, though, that on everything you mentioned, Will, whether it's you know abortion or it's uh, extremism or anything else they're going after is about condemning half the country. 
<laughs> it's about yeah. pay, it's about posting Americans who support Trump or who are conservatives uh, as being evildoers yeah. or as being white supremacists. That's what Americans have not liked. Strangely enough, they thought it would be the winning thing is to divide and conquer. Right. Americans are saying, no, we've got too much at stake. It is interesting, Tammy. Like, conservatives and Republicans um, criticize a presidency, criticize a, a thought process or an ideology, and, and Democrats often criticize their opponent voters. Exactly. And, and I, I will just, last question, I got to go, so it's going to have to be quick. Is he the nominee for the Democrats? Is Joe Biden the, the presidential nominee for Democrats? It's really hard to, it's, it's going to be really hard to blast him out of there. Yeah, I mean, now that we've got these primaries going on, they've realized that they can't. He's wanted this for half a century, his entire adult life, his entire career. I, he's not going to let go. But I, but I vacillate on this literally on a weekly basis. Right. I, if you ask me this tomorrow, I'll give you a different answer. I can't see it. Not when the polls continue to yeah. look like this. All right, Charlie Hurt, Tammy Bruce, thank you both so much. Good to see you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.